Listen up, Rangers. Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. My name's Ernest. And we're going to be doing another versus until I can get the Godzilla one, so it's still undecided. Yeah, so we're just going to start with, like, the monsters. And, for example, we're going to do Mothra today. We're just going to take all the Mothras, and we'll let you guys decide. We'll talk about them. We'll let you guys decide which one is the best. And then we'll take it from there. And then we'll do King Ghidorah. Sorry, King Ghidorah. And we just put them all... Thank you. <laughs> and then we'll let you guys decide. And then... Mechagodzilla? Mechagodzilla. Oh, I'm so tired. You I would say I'm... Gamera, but we know who... We'll is. still we'll still do it. We'll let, you never know. There could be some hardcore fans out there. Of certain Gamera's. Can you have Toto in? <laughs> was the, the baby Gamera? Yeah. So, Steve, how many Mothras do we have? Well, we can pretty much just sum it up with Showa Mothra. We'll go with the 64. You have Heisei Mothra, the 92. You have GMK Mothra. I guess you could toss in Final Wars Mothra. You know, Final Wars Mothra is just kind of Showa Mothra. I thought it was a sh It's not. Well, not technically. Really? There's difference? Well, it has like the fireball of doom attack it had. Okay, we're keeping that one in. <laughs> <laughs> it's all it really did different than the show. It's it just bigger. Um, and then you have the rebirth of Mothra's Leo. I mean, do we even have to talk about this? We already know who's going to win. Technically, by the power, evolutions, time traveling, we all know who's going to win. <laughs> If he's going to lose, he could just go back in time to fix that problem. Yeah, He'll kill you before you even got born. Aqua, armor. He's the Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, somebody could, you know, be out there defending one of the other ones in a different way. I mean... Alright, well, let's, let's just go... We'll start with uh, Showa Mothra. Kill it with fire. I hate it. Because <laughs> Showa Mothra, to my... If I'm thinking right is the smallest Mothra out of the bunch. And that Mothra's only real power is dust. Dust and hurricane winds. And horrible props. It was fine for what it was back in the day. I actually don't mind it. On one flap of the wings, it can fly 10 miles. It'd just be like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Well, it's like Rodan. Rodan's like, <laughs> like a jet everywhere. God, I hate those... <laughs> So good. But to me, if you're going to pick something Showa related that is powerful, you got to go with the Mothra larvas. It is sad that the larvas are stronger than the evolved form. Yes, because, like, Mothra did some work, ends up dying. Larvas, though. They had tag team. They tag team and took out Godzilla. Well, one technically dies. That's, that still leaves another one. That still leaves another one. It fought King Ghidorah with the help of Godzilla and Rodan. So that guy was just like, no fear. And then plus, they got their greatest move ever. Bite the tail. They all do. <laughs> <laughs> but noteworthy-wise, yeah, that's pretty much it for the regular Mothra. Like, she can fly. She, uh, her wings can knock over buildings with just the wind. Then again, all of them can. Yeah, so this, this one is... Uh, we'll let you guys decide, but yeah... To me, uh, she's pretty much knocked out of contention because even you, you have the larva, but we'll get there. Uh, next, we have the Sh or Heisei Mothra, the ninety-two. It got a little better, which I feel like is the second best out of the Mothras personally because she actually has like beam attacks. She's large. She I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. She's as big as Leo. I think Leo's a little bigger. Well, she still has the fairy dust attack, so... Well, hers actually, like, refracts beams, though. Like, it's <laughs> useful. <laughs> well, I think that's what they were trying to do with the other one. Is no, just... the other one was, like, poison powder. But it can only do it when it's dying. So it's like, uh, Burning Kamikaze. Godzilla's Kamikaze attack. Like, it's just, like... It's fairly potent, even though it didn't really do much to Godzilla other than he fell over. Uh, he got paralyzed for a minute or two. In Godzilla, in movie world. <laughs> but, yeah. But she has, like, her powder. But she actually has, like, beam attacks. She can take more damage. God, yeah. She can reflect beams with the powder. She, she can go to space. Oh, God, I forgot <laughs> about that. She can survive in outer space. <laughs> Which is a rarity. 
Yeah. But, like, outside of that, too, like, she just has beam powers. But she is a fairly powerful monster. Like, she takes on Godzilla and survives. Doesn't she pick him up by the tail, too? Yeah, well, at the end, she grabs Godzilla by the tail and Batra has him close to the neck. And then... (laughs) (laughs) And the Batra. Uh, I was like, I want to toss Batra into this fight. But then again, I feel like the Batra larva is, like, the most OP thing. Like, that would instantly beat them all. Like, should we do that? No, you know what? We'll take the winning Mothra and put it up against Batra. Larva. Whatever. Because the larva is stronger than the adult. Which, I don't understand that. Well, because, like, the Godzilla just couldn't hurt it. But it's, like, it's just, like, a super armored bug with doom beams. That's what we're going to do. That's not a bad idea at all. Hey, look at Steve coming up with good ideas. Yay. <laughs> and then we have GMK Mothra, which shoots needles. It has stingers. I like GMK Flies Mothra. Flies fast. I don't, I don't mind the design. It's a little bit more hornet looking. If it was my, if I had to choose my favorite Mothra, GMK is it. So you can get the X Plus? No, not for that price. But it doesn't even have a price yet. You don't even know exactly when they don't tell you a price in a figure you guys can expect over two hundred dollars easy it's probably gonna be like like state wise money uh like u.s dollars it's probably gonna be like 160 shipping plus shipping two hundred dollars like 180 Mm -hmm. let's get the get the sal you'll see it in like a week that mother died Saving King Ghidorah, I might add. But still exploded. It didn't put up that much of a fight against GMK. No. But then again, GMK is a pretty overpowered Godzilla to begin with. Yeah, that's not even fair when you think about it. Guy has spirits of all the dead people. is <laughs> just... A lot of people died in that He's nuclear... like a spear bomb inside of his stomach. <laughs> see, a lot of people died in that nuclear strike. <laughs> We're going to edit that part out. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, well, do we have to do the final wars? Yeah. Got to put them all in there. People like variety. <sighs> that was not bad. It's a little bit more like a rugged looking Mothra. Uh, but for the most part, takes on Gigan. But then again, Gigan, as cool as he looks in that movie, isn't the most impressive fighter though. To say the least. And then, like, Mothra, like, never beats anybody in the Godzilla movies without help. So, when it finally takes out a kaiju in the series... Somebody helped it. Some Well, not even help. It was just like, you know that kaiju isn't that impressive. Well... At least in the Godzilla series. Not just that. All the Mothras comes with the singing fairies. <laughs> God, all of them. But at least the Rebirth Mothra, you get three films worth. And they have their own stories. And a sister. And then let's talk about Mothra Leo. Who can shoot beams from literally every orifice and wing. It has like lightning attacks. It can transform into other forms. Because there's the light from space. Mothra. It can go in time. Oh, no, we, can't, we don't know if it can go in space. But it can fly through time. So that's a thing. I'm assuming it can fly through in space. <laughs> that's how Superman goes back in time. He goes in space. No, he spun around so fast that the world had to re- re- reverse the rotation of the Earth in order to go back in time. Exactly. That's how she does it, too. He. Oh, oh. Let the battle begin. <laughs> Anyways, he flies back in time to fight Cretaceous. Steve, you're up. stupid. Blah, blah, blah. All the math is a female, Steve. Rebirth wins. That's the armor form. It killed Grand Ghidorah. <laughs> by itself. Because even like Destroy All Monsters, they were all... Like initially, Ghidorah was putting up a fight and then kind of got his butt handed to it eventually. But without Godzilla there, how would that fight have really ended? Yeah. That is true. So what would this be, Vito? Leo Mothra versus... God, which one would be his best contender in this list? Hey, say... It has the beams. It could refract the beams back towards Leo. Okay. 
GM can't even do it much. I'm sorry. <laughs> I like the like the looks like not that bad. Uh, I do like some of the attacks it does, but I doubt it's going to be that effective against the other Mothras, especially since they are larger Mothras. No. Sadly, no. It's just going to get shot once and poof, in the dust. <laughs> Terry Crews going to come kick it. Pop, 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 power. Explosions! <laughs> it's going to just glitter all over everybody. It's going to be a Rick exclusive. And, like and, that, like, the, the Hazy Mothra definitely put up the best fight, I feel. Then the larva, the larva, I think, well, the rebirth larva, I think, is probably a little stronger. It's a sad day. The larva forms are stronger than the final form. Well, I know. I just mean, like, compared to their larvas, the best larva is still the show. Show larva all the way. But uh, outside of that, I think rebirth larva is a little bit more powerful than the regular larva. So our pick is Leo. What's your guys, honestly? Let us know in the comment section below so we know which one's going to be moving on to the fights. And then to help... get beat up by Batra. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Leo would lose the Batra. Oh, that would the be regular one was actually a pretty fair fight. Yeah, that would be a tough one, wouldn't it? Because you have Armor Mothra and I don't think Batra's hurting that thing. But then Batra Larva, it's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, so, so you it also be... have to hurt Batra Larva. That would be like a stale fight. This is going to end up in a volcano. Or like a tectonic rift. But then... Hello, friend. We missed you. No, don't hurt him. Aww. Oh, I did hit him. <laughs> he trusted you. <laughs> Fly landed on Steve's shorts and I flicked it and hit the boxes and flew away. It was funny, too, because I was doing a review, and as I'm talking about it, I just like, <laughs> it's in my hand, I'm just like, get it off. <laughs> Help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button, subscribe, or come raise your day. Because I just hit a kaiju. <laughs> See you guys in the next video. You're a Bye -bye. monster. Everybody knows it's deep.